looking back. No, I didn't know I could get off the ground that good. <laughs> Seattle got lucky. It worked out. To land a human being like Leonard R. Wilkins. We decided, you know, that uh, uh, this would be our place. Around here, people just know him by one name, Lenny. A guy from Brooklyn who still has a little bit of that New York accent. Jackie Robinson, who I was a big Dodger fan growing up. I mean, I went to Ebbets Field, I played baseball, and I got to meet him. He originally didn't want to come to Seattle. Lenny was sent here via trade from St. Louis in 1968 and was coaching the Supersonics a year later. Wilkins discovered the area had more to offer than just a basketball team. Yeah, I'm a real East Coaster, but uh, you know, the Northwest reminded me a lot of New England. You know, a lot of mountains, a lot of lakes. Uh, the one thing though, it didn't get as cold as it does back there. We met some wonderful people here and decided that uh, this would be home. Lenny would also find what was then a small clinic in Seattle's Central District, named for a woman in Odessa Brown who sought community affordable health care for all. I met uh, a couple of people, a couple of ladies who were uh, very active in the community. And they sort of adopted me and my wife, <laughs> you know, uh, a gal by the name of uh, Freddie Mae Gautier uh, and uh, Toby Burton. And they wanted me to uh, see the clinic. He was struck by what he saw from doctors and the people for whom they serve. And if you have that certain security about you, then you feel like you can affect them. Five, four. Yes, Lenny three, also found two. success on the court. And the Supersonics win their first ever NBA championship. The ball. There were 20,000 people or more at the airport, so we had to go to a separate terminal to park. And, uh, and everybody on the plane thought that was cool. 40 years ago, he felt the sonic boom on 4th Avenue. And, and not every city wins a championship, but we did. We had the parade, and to see that many people come out and, and not tear up or destroy anything, it, it was wonderful. Lenny may be an Olympic gold medalist and three-time Hall of Famer as a player, coach, and assistant on the 1992 Dream Team, but he never lost focus on Odessa Brown or the fact it was providing services no matter age, race, or the ability to pay. It became my charity. It became your passion? Yeah, it became my passion. For decades, he has run the Lenny Wilkins Foundation, raising millions of dollars for the clinic and those in need. I'm glad that uh, we can still do this. I've seen what it, it has done. So yeah, I mean, you know, you have to go there and see the, the medical, the dental, you know, the mental health wing of it. Uh, all that it gives back to the community. And we have to address things. Uh, sometimes, uh, especially mental health today, doesn't get addressed as much. It's a place for all of who you are, a holistic lifestyle for people of color intentionally wrapped in love. You know, it's like it doesn't get any better than that. This fall, Lenny and Seattle Children's Hospital will break ground on a second clinic in the Rainier Valley. This one will bear his name, perhaps a fitting conclusion for this extraordinary gentleman. At least that's how he views it. This is a good time to go out. The foundation will be phased out around the same time. I just think that we're going out on a high note and uh, and I, uh, I, you know, uh, it's time. I, I've done it for 40 years, you know, giving back and, uh, and, and I think that uh, there are, you know, maybe somebody else will pick up the mantle and, and go with it, but uh, we've established it. Uh, the clinic will have a, a guild. Uh, back and and that will make a difference you know and that'll help and and so uh just felt the timing was right you know go out while you're feeling good is this anything to do with health no i i feel great i've been very blessed when he says he wants to spend more time with family including his grandkids down in atlanta it's a kind of retirement uh sort of uh yeah you know uh i uh you know, I, I think it's, uh, I deserve it. <laughs> Time is precious. 
and it has also allowed Lenny Wilkins to become a champion on and off the court. It will be a grand send-off at the final Wilkins Foundation dinner and auction on August 10th in Bellevue. You can find out more about that event on the Wilkins Foundation website. So did he talk about why he wasn't going to continue the foundation with somebody else running it? Yeah, he just felt that the timing was right. So at that last gala in August, they're going to honor the 1979 Sonics championship mm -hmm. team and players will be there kind of 40 years uh, of his life wrapped up in that one night. He, with the groundbreaking of the new facility in the Rainier Valley, he just felt everything lined up. This was the perfect time to step aside. And he hopes there are other people in the community that will step forward and try and do this work and try and help mm -hmm. out Odessa Brown. Hopefully somebody takes the baton, but for somebody who has done so much and accomplished so much in sports and outside of sports, I wonder if he'll be any good at not doing anything. He doesn't strike me as the kind of guy who could just <laughs> lay back and watch TV all day. It's like his fourth retirement, right? right? right. <laughs> And so, certainly yeah. deserve it, yeah. Yeah, what a legacy. Thanks, yeah. Chris. All right, thank you, Chris.